some people feel passionately about decor and we've got some of them here today. So we're calling this segment The Great Decor Divide, courtesy of stylist Wendy Russell. <laughs> Design Divide, we, uh, we were, we're going to poll you as well as we polled the audience on all of these. The first question is, do you love the shower or do you love the bath? Bath or shower? Oh, I easy. like both. I like to have a bath and then rub off all the, the excess in the shower. Oh, nice. uh, no. Okay, you're both. I'm, I'm shower. I sometimes feel like that. bath is marinating in your old skin cells. Oh, 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 that's that's right. Right. That's what we were showing after. I love a bath. I clean all the time. So. I know you are, honey. Can you clean? A shower is work. A bath is like, you know, luxuriating. No, a it's shower. It's what the queen bit does. Bit of both. Bit of both. So you're a 50-50. Yeah. You're a shower? I, I like a shower. Bath. I like to wet it and forget it. I've got one leg in the shower and one leg in the bath. Well, then. Okay, what the all audience right, well, we think. we polled our audience, 79% are all about the shower. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Yes. We don't have time. time. I think part of it is about time. Yes, so here's here's a few things. Yeah. A five minute shower with a, a, a low flow shower head yes. uses less than half the water of a bath. <gasps> yeah. See? So, so we're environmentally two showers from one. Yes. Yes. Feel now you're shame. speaking my language. Yes. <laughs> don't be ashamed. The other thing you need to know shame. is that um, to, to find out how your water is flowing, yes. um, if you take an empty, <laughs> an empty <laughs> two liter milk jug and yes. put it under a running uh, your running shower head. Yeah. If it fills up in less than 10 seconds, you need to go to a low flow shower head. But you have to or take a clock much. into the shower with you to get <laughs> yes. your precision right. Yeah, you got your phone on the me. timer. <laughs> you're like, go. Uh -huh. So okay, that's yes. good. That's yeah, good. Yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah. little test. What right. else you got? All right, our next one. TV over the fireplace or no TV over the fireplace? No TV over the fireplace. Categorically, that's me. no TV over the fireplace. Kim? <laughs> We're on TV, people. <laughs> I'm going to say that if the fireplace has a low uh, clearance, you can have a television over the fireplace. Good. Mm. Yeah. If you're, mm. if it's the room you watch TV in, let's be honest. We watch TV, and like I'm not the only person that watch. I'm the only person that takes a bath, apparently, but I'm not the only person who watches TV. <laughs> so why not have it in the room that you watch it in? If it's not okay. perfect, um, but it's better than no TV. Like, yeah, for sure. Got it. Um, I would say no. You know, I like the fireplace to be a focal point, Me too. and I like the television to be something else. I hate those rooms where you walk in and all the furniture faces the television. I love TV, yes. yeah. but I don't want it to dominate the space. We just did a great okay. little project where we made a rebate above the fireplace and then we put small rolling barn doors in front of it. Nice. The television yeah. went in there oh, and I the like barn that. doors roll away and then roll back in. Yeah, so yeah. when you want to watch the telly in City Line, obviously, love then it. you watch it. We called it a rebate. We called it a recess. But oh, we re call it a rebate in Britain. I you like see, I don't know if I've ever rebate. told you this, Wendy, I'm British. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually we Scottish. No idea. Yeah. See, you have that really well. We didn't know. We know this. Wendy, what did the audience say? Uh, very polarized on this one. 51% okay. were for a, for the TV over the fireplace yeah. and 49 on the other side. So Ooh. that's quite the divide. I'm calling that a win for you, me. You, you take it as a win, honey. Yeah. Right. You take it as a win. That's right. All right. Yeah. Number three. TV in the bedroom or no TV in the bedroom? No TV in the bedroom. No TV no in the TV bedroom. The bedroom is for other things. Two things no. in the bedroom. No. I would say, no. TV in the bedroom, in fact, not, no. not any normal TV. I've got a 3D TV in my bedroom. <laughs> I said they were a little goggles on with a cat, like, hello. Listen, 74% of the audience said they want the TV in the bedroom. Yeah. This drives me mad because he's got a television in there, yes. and I just don't want to have that. It's a real visual obstruction to me. I want to have a nice piece of artwork above a credenza, not audience. looking great yeah. bit of text. Yeah, nice. See me in the audience. Pretty sure me a stride. Yeah, you guys are one. You guys are one. They do say that the bedroom should usually only be used for two things. So yes, with the TV it's three. Who knows? Sleeping but anything, here, Wendy? Here's right? The thing. <laughs> yeah. Sleeping anything. LED lights in the we'll bedroom later. are one of the reasons they talk about don't put the TV in there because yeah. it's very disturbing to your sleep. So yes. there's a couple of DIY solutions you can do in order to hide those. Um, our producer Fiona, she puts a, just a piece of black electrical tape right over top of it. You can do a DIY version where you use scotch tape with either a sharpie oh, or black nail light polish. at the bottom. But you can get that these cool, light. these are light
light dims from, mm -hmm. oops, wow, they've fallen. Um, light dims from Amazon, and they are all cut in all sorts of shapes and sizes and just match hold that your electronics. For us right there, we want to get a so, shot of those. So you can I just put that really over cool. any of the little LED lights. Yeah. Because sometimes it's just the tiniest little thing by the power switch, yeah. and that is going to dis disrupt your sleep. Mm. Can you just tilt the clock a little bit? I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> it's, it's a TV! A <laughs> it's a TV. Or it's the a TV. TV. Right. Tilt on an angle or something. Our fourth and final question. <laughs> okay. um, feature wall or no feature wall? Oh, oh. man. It's project okay. specific. Let Kimberly start. Oh, because I know. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> I knew Stop you it. felt strongly about it. I would it. rather come to your house and cook dinner than come to your house and see a feature wall. <laughs> yeah, but surely. <laughs> they make That's my eyes wall. bleed. Well, don't, don't look do behind it. you, love. Don't, don't look yeah. behind you. Yeah, you Just know what? I'm, I'm, I'm actually it. okay with a feature wall. No. I'm okay with a feature wall. I think for done, a feature wall to work, you don't want. If it's a really dramatic paper, it's too much of a statement. Yeah. But if it's a paper that's got a smaller print or a smaller subtle. design, subtle. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about the whisper, the Kimberly. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Wait, so would you wear whisper. denim top, bottom shirt, and shoes? No. Right. But you might have it in one zone. So yes to the feature wall. Yes, right. Now you would wear denim top to bottom if you want to look thinner and <laughs> So I'm just saying. <laughs> The audience is all over the accent wall. So how you're much? Oh. 85%. Yeah. Yeah. And the good news, the good news about the accent wall is it's economical as well. You only use a small percentage. You spend, 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 Don't Kimberly. Do it. I like spend, to restrain my client spend. budget to one zone. Listen, I love that you brought all of these topics to our attention, and we love the fact that there's all diversity out there when it comes to your decor. <laughs>